Hello everyone, this is Dragonold, and welcome to episode 1 of my Minecraft Quidditch pitch tutorial, and this is a highly requested series by you guys in the comment section, and so I'm really happy that I can now bring you guys a tutorial for my Quidditch pitch. And so I plan this series to be about 3 or 4 episodes long, and I do hope to release them on a weekly schedule, however, I do apologise if that is not the case, because I do have some busy summer plans, but hopefully, I can get them out on a weekly basis. And so if you're a new viewer who just wants to build a Quidditch pitch, then you can ignore this next section. However, if you have followed my Hogwarts tutorial, then you probably want to know the rough landscaping around the castle that leads down to the Quidditch pitch. And yes, this Hogwarts does look a little bit different because this is my main Hogwarts map. However, it does have the default textures right now, so it does look a little bit weird. And yes, I do know that I have not yet covered the Anic Entrance and the Ruins. Maybe I will do a tutorial on those in the future. And so as you can see from the castle, the landscape does just go down in a nice gentle slope into the Quidditch pitch area. And so basically, if you leave yourself a 150 by 250 area, you will have plenty of room to build your Quidditch pitch. And so without further ado, let's get started with this episode, where as usual, we will build the foundations of the pitch. And based upon my previous experiences of doing foundations episodes, don't worry, I will leave the layout in the description, so you can follow along if that is easier. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to mark a center block. I've done this with gold, you can do this really with whatever you want, but this is just to keep track of where the center of the pitch is, because it is quite easy to lose in the massive oval we are about to build. And so the first thing I want to do is to grab ourselves some snow blocks because this is what we'll use as the block which represents the outlines of the pitch. And so from there, the first thing we're going to do is to build the center line of the pitch, which will go in this direction here, with of course the three hoops at that end and over there as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And then from there, we want to go in this direction, 12 more blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then cross diagonal one block and then build across nine more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then once again diagonally, and then six more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then five blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then three, one, two, three, another three, one, two, three and then another three, one, two, three, and then one, two, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, and then two, and then one, and then two, and then one, and then one, and then one, two. And then five blocks diagonally, so one, two, three, four, five, and then two blocks going in this direction here, so one, two, and then one block, and then two blocks, one, two, and then one block, and then two blocks, one, two, and then three blocks, one, two, three, another three blocks, one, two, three, and then six more blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you have done it correctly, then this will be in line with the center gold block over there. And it will look just like this, and there we go, that is one quarter of the Quidditch pitch now complete. And then basically what we need to do now is to flip this over onto this side and repeat this pattern all the way around for the complete Quidditch pitch. I'll repeat this one more time going all the way around and then you guys can simply repeat this onto the other side of the pitch. And so because this is the centre block, we'll come out another five more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five. And then once again, three blocks, one, two, three. And then another three blocks, one, two, three. And then two blocks. And then one block. And then two blocks. And then one block and then two more blocks, and then five more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five. And then from here, we'll place in two blocks, so one, two, and then we'll go across two more diagonally, just like this, and then two more blocks, and then a single block here, and then two more blocks, and then a single block here, and then two more blocks, 
two more blocks, two more blocks, and then two more blocks, just like this. And then three blocks here, so one, two, three, and then two blocks, and then three blocks, and then three blocks, and then three more blocks, and then four blocks here, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then nine blocks along here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 12 blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then 12. Of course, because on that side, we start off with the center block, we'd place in a 13th block right here. And then if we build out 45 more blocks in this direction, we will reach the center block again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. And no, I have not was counted. The reason I counted 45 blocks on this side and 46 blocks on this side is because on the first time we did it, we started off on the first block to the left of the gold block and we went all the way along right out to the edge of the Quidditch pitch, which is 46 blocks. However, on this side, because we'd already built the edge block, then we only had to go on remaining 45 blocks to reach the center of the pitch. I hope that made sense. I have not miscounted. And then before we go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side, what I do right now is I'd also mark in the area where the sand is going to be. Because if you remember from the films, there is a sand pit at the bottom of the three Quidditch hoops. And so we'll come to this block right here, which is just before or after these five diagonals in a row. And we'll place in a singular block right here. And then we we'll go across two more blocks, one, two, and then two more blocks, one, two. And then we'll go across four blocks diagonally. So one, two, three, four, and then two blocks long, one, two, and then two more, one, two, and then three more blocks, one, two, three, three more, one, two, three, and then a final four blocks, one, two, three, four. And then seven more blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this should be the center block right here. And so now what we need to do is come back in the same way we came across here. And so four blocks here, one, two, three, four, and then three blocks, one, two, three, and then three more, one, two, three, and then two blocks, one, two, and then two more, one, two, and then four blocks diagonally along here, one, two, three, four, and then two blocks here, one, two, another two, one, two, and then our final block right there. And so there we go, that is half the layout now done. And all you need to do now is repeat the same thing onto the other side. You can either skip back in the video or just use what you've already built to flip this onto the other side. And so that is my basic plan for this Quidditch page tutorial to save me some time because I'm just really, really busy this summer. And so basically I will show you guys a quarter of the Quidditch page design. And then from that, you guys can repeat that onto the other three sides of the pitch. Of course, the color schemes are different, but don't worry, I will ensure that I show off all of the color schemes you guys have to follow. Hopefully you can still follow along relatively easily because the design is so repetitive and symmetrical. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and flip this side onto this side. And there we go, that is the layout of the Quidditch pitch itself. However, before we start work on the patterns of the pitch, we also need to lay out three more ovals. And this is because there is another ring around the pitch, which is basically a grass area going around this edge right here. And then there is a trench, which Harry and Malfoy fly around, and then it's wall, and then of course the outer oval for the stands. And so let's go ahead and add those in now. And so I recommend using spruce planks for these as foundations. And so what we will do is we'll go across and leave a four block gap. So one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place in a spruce plank. And that is going to be the marker for the second oval going around the pitch. And so we'll come out 13 more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then 11 more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then four more blocks. One, two, three, four. And then three more blocks. One, two, three. And then four blocks. One, two, three, four. 
and then another three blocks. One, two, three, and then three more blocks. One, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then another three more blocks. One, two, three. And then we'll come across two blocks. One, two, and do that six more times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so we should have seven sections of two blocks going all the way along. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one block, and then two more blocks, and then one block, and then two more blocks, and then 10 more blocks in a diagonal line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And then coming around, two more blocks right here, and then another block, and then two more blocks, one, two, and then two more blocks, one, two, and then three blocks, one, two, three, and another three, one, two, three, and then six more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go, we should once again be in the center of the Quidditch pitch, which we can check by just flying along and seeing if we hit the gold block in the middle. And there we go, we do, there we go. That checks, that confirms that this second oval is correct. And if you wish to double check as well, there should be 14 blocks between this line and this line. So let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14. There we go. That outer oval is correct. And don't worry, it's accurate that it is wider here and thinner in the center. And then there is the trench and then the first layer of the stands and then the back layer of the sands. So let's go ahead and add those in now. And so once again, we'll leave in a four block gap. So one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place in a spruce slab. And then once again, we'll come across 13 more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we'll lay out the foundation of where our first tower is going to be. And so I'll just use some dark oak planks and it will clearly lay out where the tower will be. And so what we'll do is place in a block here and then cross one block and then come across eight blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are basically creating an eight by eight square. So seven blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just complete the gap right here. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. That should be an eight by eight square. And then we can come to this corner here and build across three more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three. And then seven blocks along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then five more blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then four more blocks. One, two, three, four. And then three more blocks. One, two, three. And right here will be our second tower. And so this one will also be a square, but also on a slightly different angle because, of course, it is at this section of the pitch. And so we'll place in one block here. And then we can cross one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then place in a block here. And then three blocks here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a block. And then three blocks, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a block. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And there we go, that is the layout for our second Quidditch Tower. And then coming along, we'll place in two more blocks here, one, two, and then three more blocks, one, two, three. And then two more blocks, one, two, and then three more blocks, one, two, three. And then we'll place in two more blocks and repeat that four more times. So one, two, three, four, and then one block, and then two more blocks, one, two, and then two more, one, two, and then one, and then one, two. And then right here will be the site of our third Quidditch Tower. And so place in a single block here and put across five more blocks diagonally, one, two, three, four, five. Rotate 90 degrees, five blocks this way, one, two, three, four, five, and then five blocks this way, one, two, three, four, five, and then fill in the remaining gap with one, two, three, four. And there we go, that is our third Quidditch tower, which is at a 45 degree angle. And then place in two blocks here, one, two, and then come across diagonally three blocks. So one, two, three, and then two more blocks, one, two, and then two more blocks diagonally, one, two. And then two more blocks, one, two, and then a singular block, one, and then one, two, and then one, two, and then three more blocks, one, two, three, and then four more blocks, one, two, three, four, and then six more blocks along here, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and we have once again reached the center line of the Quidditch pitch and there should once again be a four block gap between these two ovals. And then finally to add in the final oval which will go along this line right here which is the back of the Quidditch stand. And so once again, return to this center line right here and leave a four block gap. So one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, place in a spruce plank and then build across 13 more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that will take you to the first Quidditch tower. And then come to the third block along on the tower. So one, two, three, and then build out three more blocks. So one, two, three, and then seven more blocks in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then five more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then five more. One, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four, and then four more. One, two, three, four, and then a final block in this block right there. And then moving along, we will come to this block right here, placing a singular block right there, and then come across three more blocks. So one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we'll place two more blocks and repeat that seven more times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there should be eight two block long strips in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll place in one block and then two more, and then two blocks going in diagonally into this third Quidditch tower right here. And then coming along, we'll place in a block right here and come across five more blocks diagonally. So one, two, three, four, five, and then come across two more blocks. So one, two, another block, one, two, another block, and then one, two, and then two more, one, two, and then three more, one, two, three, three more, one, two, three, and then four more, one, two, three, four, and then seven more blocks along here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once again, we are in the center of the pitch. And likewise, there is another four block gap between these two lines right here. And there we go. That is the first quarter of the layout now complete. And all you to do now basically is repeat the same thing onto the other side with this line right here being the center of the Quidditch pitch. And so to repeat the same thing, flipping it over this line, go from this side. Of course, you kind of scroll back in the tutorial and follow along as you do the other three sides. And there we go. That is the layout of the Quidditch pitch now complete. And if you take a second at any point, you can use the layout in the description, which shows each block one by one. And also you can join my Discord server for support and also just an amazing community. And so that will conclude episode one. In the next episode, we will start working on the raised grass areas on the Quidditch pitch, as well as the general pattern on the field itself. And so if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does support the channel. And I will see you guys in episode two. See ya.